Good day, mates. It's Bobby Gunner Who here. Welcome to episode 9. Let's play Tide. It is Melee and Tiger. In the last episode, we start off Outback Safari. Held with Shazza's and Maurice Owens. And now we're finally starting Ken's Owens, like I promised. <laughs> um. Uh, before I do that, where the heck am I going? Checking for collectibles. Oh, yeah, I missed these. Alright. All I don't let's do is no. It has a checkpoint. You can't destroy checkpoints. Let's go talk to Ranger Kane already. Jeez. Let's have another crack at putting out those fires. Yes, sir. On you, mate. There's enough water in those towers to douse the flames. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to hit all the ward towers that are around here. There you go, that's one, and there's four to hit, so... Yeah, see this one that's bobbling, I assume? No, wait, no, that's a house on fire. Jeez. Yeah, it should, it'll look, I assume it launches the water up in the air and douses out the... Somehow douses out the fires on the houses, okay. Alright, this is the last one, and... There we go. That was a ripper of an effort, mate. You handle those thrills and save the town without breaking a sweat. You deserve a medal. In fact, you deserve better than that. Bonza! Oh, thank you, I guess. Sapphire Ned, oh no. <laughs> it's enough fun to work, of course. You're a top bloke, Ty. The township of Dusty Burrows owes you big time. Where the people? <laughs> Oh, I guess technology 2002 wasn't. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> it. Okay, that's one of Ranger Ken's errands done. Now let's clean up the water there. Now, shall we? Um, before we get there, of course, I need to get more. Ow! Why can I do that? <sighs> I know it makes sense, but it's pretty annoying. And this is a collector farm, so I'm checking every nook and can see if I haven't missed anything. Let's see? There's 20 left now. And they could be anywhere. So, anyways, now we're back here. And. Uh, really? I have got destroyed these, didn't I? I guess this was the last one. No? Okay. Well, I'm not climbing up the whole man all over again. <laughs> no way. I'm, just, I'm going back and see if I can get any other collectibles I missed. I say this is a decent music piece. Sounds pretty wild western with an, of course, Australian feel to it. <laughs> Which I guess makes sense. Uh, so anyways. We're back here. There's the opal machine again. I know we're 20 opals short, unfortunately. I bet I missed some opals around here too, so... <laughs> but anyways, let's go clean up these wards now, shall we? <coughs> yep. Yeah. See? Missed some opals. Told you so. Told you so. Told you so. Alright. Let's do this. Now shall we? Struth. We were so close, mate. Just a bit more and we could have cleaned up this mess. Oh, you're a top bloke, Ty. Just keep an eye out for those rotten frill lizards. Hey mate, maybe you should aim at those pipes. Okay, Hanks. He's talking like we've done this already, but we haven't. So what I basically want to do is Basically, hit all these pipes with the radioactive symbol on it, while stopping these all these quills to do something. I don't know. So hit that. Get these guys out of the way. So this is another one-off mini game, but this is pretty simple, easy to do. Go. 
I see. You want to stop them from wishing the valve. And yeah, and, and more will pop out up there too, so watch out for that. And take care of that. There's only one left. And there we go. The water's clean, as it should be. On your mic, you did it. Look at those beautiful animals. It's moments like these that make me proud to be a ranger. Oh, I want you to have this. Oh, sorry, mate. I've got something in my eye. Oh, hey, sweet. <laughs> oh, you big old softy. Anyway, so now Dove is. Look at the watering hole. Mm hmm. Yes, it's all clean. Good. No one wants to drink toxic crap. No one wants to be sick. Anyway. <laughs> also, how dare you <clears throat> punch Tyre that? I know you Tasmanian devils are endangered species, but Tasmanian tires are flat extinct, so. <laughs> you know. Okay, I don't know when this takes place. I assume this is pre-1936, because, well, they're still around, still thing. So anyways, I'm going to start cutting it around now, since... This is, we are cutting to the end of this level, so I'm going to cut to where I gain the main soap pools and that. Also, we still got the time trial to do, well, the waste to do, so yeah, that's that. <clears throat> okay, only 10 left. Do do do. So I'm just destroying everything in my path. So if you like destroying stuff, then you'll love this level. Anyway, let's start the hey, race. Ty, you ready to tear up the road? Okay, so now we got ways to get Shasta. And personally, I think this is the hardest race in the entire game. I don't know what's up with her car, but actually she can be pretty fast. And well, look, as seen the speed are going, yeah, this is the fastest you're gonna go, so... Bloody tornado! Ruining everything! So, so don't surprise you trying this a, a bunch of times until you get it. So actually, he's really pretty far. Head now. I don't know if she has wobble banning AI or not, but either way, this is quite possibly the hardest race in the entire. Why is she slow down? Okay. Probably just going hard pill. Yeah, I don't know how her AI acts or whatnot, but yeah, this is a really tough, tough race. Hardest race in the entire game, easily. So, do we surprise you? Keep trying this a whole bunch of times. In fact, I just barely did this. I found number. Just go as fast as you can. Try not to make many mistakes and hope to God you begin first. That's all I can say. Anyways, we're going down. Who at this point you might be catching up. There we go. Coming for the big jump. Alonzi! <laughs> hey, that's French, not Australian. Oh, it's a British, uh, Doctor Who. Oh, she and she's caught up. I don't know how, but I guess I could play on the Wolver Banding AI. <sighs> don't worry, I do win this, if barely. So let's see if we can catch up. You know, I kind of. We have some sort of boost bond that I can use to catch up to her. That'd be nice, but uh, I guess not. But there you go, caught up. Let's see how long I can keep this place. Oh, bloody tornado! No! Oh. And she catches up. Great. So basically, Hotel Argard, they catch up to her quickly enough. Because I think the finish line, yep, it's right there. 
And I see I just barely did it. Yep, barely caught up. And I barely won the race. Definitely the hardest race in the entire game. Whoa, you beat me fair and square. You deserve this. Whoa, grouse. What kind of name is grouse? Obviously it's not in Australian. It's an Australian slang word, but I don't know what it means. <sighs> but anyway, we now have all the lady all the fun in the entire game. Now it's gonna cut here and there to get the rest of the opals, and I believe we're still missing one golden cock too. But I think it's right here. Now it's just a one up. Oh well. There you go. We're missing four left now. Da -da -da. I don't think I've been on this pathway before. Here are three more crates, and I think the last golden cock is in. No? Hmm. My way gone and all. Ah, uh, yeah, and that was the one I was missing. I was looking everywhere for that. And yeah, got all the opals now, and there's the last Thunderwag. I think I already got all the golden cogs, I believe. If not, I'll cut to it. Yeah. Yeah, I missed a golden cog, so. I believe there should be one over here somewhere. Um, there it is. Hidden behind two walks. And there you go, that's all the gone cost gone. And our fax safari is complete, so it's now time to exit this level. Actually, I'm only really dead actually, wow. Yeah, I spent nearly three hours in this goddamn level. Sheesh. Again, this is a pretty open world level. I guess you get closer to get to a, a tied GGA level, I guess. <laughs> tied 2 and 3 might prove me wrong, but... Hey, at least in this game, at least, it's the closest you get. Anyways, now we're doing Outback Safari. Um... No, I don't think we have enough going cost to get our boomerang, so... I don't think we can do the outworld, let's just do one to the next level. We still got two levels left. Which on the river tie and well the other one. Oh this one. Oh you look fancy. So let's do one to the next level. Bridge on the river tie. I'm sure that's supposed to be pan or what, but whatever. I'll let Maurice give give the introductions to the level. Except maybe a moonlit billabong full of giant roaches, spiders, and bats. Oh boy, and everything is dark. Great. So, okay. So, here's a pre new what you're doing. Uh, so now we're back to more sort of a, well the first half is linear the second half is pretty open let's say but for now let's say we're back to more linear level for sure and yeah check behind you because there are opals behind there it's like a fort yeah this is this is definitely a nighttime level and I really like the aesthetics of this level welcome to the billabong this is the home of me old mate, Dennis the Cheapskate. Uh, well, <coughs> sorry, I mean Green Tree Frog. Oh dear. He has got the biggest thunder egg collection this side of the black stump. I tried to convince him to give some up, but he's too precious with them. I'm sure if you did some odd jobs for him, he'd be happy to throw some your way. You know what I mean? Leave it to me, Mori. Oh boy, so the guy's name is Dennis. Don't mind, it's not the one for the sponge one, he's not gonna kill Ty. Hope to God not. Ty's too precious <laughs> to be. Ty's my precious baby, and. No, I just kinda. Did I say that already? I can't remember. But yeah, apparently he's a witch snob. He's basically the frog version of Scrooge with Dark. Or Mr. Krabs. So yay. Anyways, I better sum it up here underwater. Indeed, and why we got a bunch of opals here. 
So yeah, we well, got a bit of water stuff to deal with, but it's not as bad as shipwrecks, definitely. So, let's uh, swing all the way over here to this cave, and here we have our first cage. Billy, 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 no, Billy, Billy, so yeah, there we go. We're gonna grab the rest of the old pools here. Uh, yeah. Is the end of the line. And where have we got Hurdy One Opals? Making pretty good progress. Okay, let's go back to the main path. There we go. Hmm. Fireflies there were. This is a really nice looking level, I must say. It's not too dark. Mark, there's still play of lights everywhere. This is definitely how you do nighttime level white. Oh, oh I think I saw. Yep. There's a corn gog down there. <laughs> there we go. Might as well use a flame wine. They look really good in this level, really. So I might as well use them. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> found another picture frame. <laughs> uh, I will get all the picture frames, but I'm not going to do that until we reach the final, final level. So, yeah, I will explain what they are. The base, basically, the more, more picture frames you get, the more concept art you unlock. Pretty self explanatory. Okay. Ah! Spider web. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ, spiders! Oh my god! Die, 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 die. Whew. Huh. I can't seem to whip through this. Oh, we got a burning down. Okay. Alright. Anyone else miss back here? No. Good, good. Again, it's a I keep saying this, it's a collect farm, I don't want to miss anything important. That's why it has happened. Okay. Take you out. All these glowing blue opals here. Yeah, they're now ice opals. Like I don't know you said the free level still has a theme that relates to the Thunder X and Opals. The first one is fire, I used to tell with the red eggs and opals. And this one is it's all ice themed. So it's that. And the first set of levels which we're gonna get to, they're gonna be have electric themed collectibles, so yeah. Anyways it seems to take two hits to kill. Okay. Go. Um. Yep. It's a golden cock down there. We've just got a glide for it. Like we're in the kidna. Yeah, golden cock number three. We're just picking all this up like wildfire. Uh, okay, let's get all the way back up here. Uh. Uh, oh, a nice buy where to burn. Let's do that. If you see a spy where then there will be a spy to follow. Uh. There you go, and that's the second bit will be rescued. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's move on. Anything else I'm missing? No. Okay. I think I see another Billy Bee up there. I'll show initial sure never that for later. Do, 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 do. Aim behind this waterfall. No. Wait. What's all something? No. Okay. Bite. I'll bite you. 
No, there's another golden cock to get. And we got more spires that want to kill us. There we go. Actually, we took one bite to kill. Why they bounce me off? Any more opals? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, okay, and get that golden cog. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm running out of time now, so next time let's play Tyler Tasmanian Tiger. We shall be doing four of which on the River Tie. So, spoiler gonna who? I think I'm gonna be risking the ability here and getting some more opals here. But yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.